Good morning. I'm Dr. Bill Wyatt. I'm a member of the American Orthodontic Society, and uh, I've done nothing but orthodontics now for the last 42 years, uh, plus a, quite a bit of temporal mandibular joint work that is uh, mixed in with orthodontics. You can't uh, get along without the two, two of them. Uh, I'm a general dentist, but uh, I've been doing orthodontics actually for about 15 or so years before that. Uh, so I want to pass on to you some of the things that I've learned. I'm going to uh, talk with you talk with you a little bit today about supernumerary teeth, and I have a real nice young man here, and his dad was such a help. He brought him in all the time and he transferred to my office from some other office I think it was a just got to be a little more than this person wanted to do so they sent uh, this young man to me and he and I got to be real buddies and uh, he's the neatest little uh, boy and his father's just the nicest guy and bringing to me in all the time and uh, we got to really be close friends. He came back to see me for a long time after that. I'll have to call him back up again. Well, anyway, here he is, and uh, I, I want to show you the problem that he had just brought about by crowding and t these supernumerary teeth. They can really mess things up. Uh, so. Uh, Anyway, we'll look at him. He's, he, he came in with these, and we made these models when we started, and uh, he had braces on, and they looked pretty rough. But this is level of 98, and you can see the kind of a, I don't know, it's really crowded up, and the teeth are extremely crowded. His profile's pretty good, like it is, so I didn't want to change it, and so we decided to eliminate some teeth in here, and the supernumerary teeth were underneath the second bicuspids, so we ended up taking the second bicuspids out in this particular uh, case, and I'm going to show a bunch of x-rays of it, and you can see how we came through with it. The orthodontics, after you figured out what you were going to do, wasn't all that uh, uh, complicated and bad. The uh, Apparently this young man had this tooth right here. See that lingual button on it? It must have been blocked out up here and it was pulled down with this arch wire. Uh, so we took this off and of course put some regular uh, brackets on the teeth and lined everything up. Now we'll have to go to these x-rays to really understand it and that's where we'll spend the time showing you what took place with the x-rays. Uh, he's got several panorexes and everything. All right, we put our regular small brackets on here, and we've lined these teeth up, and we're opening some space here naturally. The orthodontics is not all that uh, complicated, uh, but they were extremely crowded. And you can see this uh, tooth coming in up here. We're going to have to bring it back behind. Okay, let's... Okay, I'm going to go on and just get into the x-rays and you can see uh, we're going to have to bring this down in here and we take out the supernumerary teeth. That's where the two, there were two uh, supernumerary teeth by setting beside the 
second bicuspid. Now, one of the second bicuspids made it in, but the other one didn't, and it's blocked out by the supernumerary teeth. And uh, this is bringing another tooth in from up above. All right, looking at it from the top side, you can see we've got a cuspid problem in there, and this one coming in. It's just regular orthodontic problems that's not difficult to understand and do. But you just have to decide what you're going to do with these supernumerary teeth. Now they'll block the eruption of teeth out really bad. And uh, so here is a little bit later on. And uh, in fact, I think we've pretty well finished the young man here. His teeth are lined up good. And now in my final pictures, the teeth have a yellow tint. Uh, back when we had to send them off and you couldn't uh, redo them. But that's his smile. Uh, that's, that's not his smile, but uh, he's really a, a neat guy. He and I got to be good buddies and he was thinking about trying to go to dental school. He had enjoyed what we were doing on him. And uh, Here's the profile and everything around, and it worked out great. All right, now here's where we need to spend the time uh, looking at these uh, x-rays. Now, here are two supernumerary teeth right in here, and they've got a deciduous tooth, and they're blocking this bicuspid I assume there's two in here. They're blocking this bicuspid and it can't come up in this area. So the baby tooth here is still there, even though, let's see, he's 12 years and five months at this, this point. Now over here you can see the supernumerary teeth, but the, the bicuspid made it on in. So we're going to eliminate this, eliminate this up here, and uh, the baby tooth and the permanent tooth, and clear this out too. And then we'll bring this cuspid back down over on this in between here. And this first bile will be up next to the molar when we get through. Same thing over here, there's that wire attached to this. Uh, lateral right here and there's the cuspid coming in the end there, the bicuspid. So you'd have to kind of study that to see where all these teeth are and the ones we're going to take out. Now we didn't have any worry. We had plenty of material back here in case he grew tremendously, but the young man didn't grow very much and we had to extract the wisdom teeth also down the line. So uh, we'll go ahead and show this. All right, here is a close-up of, I shot just a picture of this side so you could see the supernumerary teeth. Now this bicuspid got through there and came on up in the, in the mouth and this one, uh, we will eliminate that bicuspid too. Now on the opposite side of the mouth, you can see that the two, this is confusing as heck here. Uh, that's one supernumerary and if I'm not mistaken, this is another one or else that's the permanent bicuspid in here. And this is the deciduous tooth. Uh, I can't tell, but the old surgeon will find that out, whichever. So we're going to take this whole mess out and this up here too. Now the next picture, we'll see this empty space. All right, this 
uh, Panorex right here that we got it back from the old surgeon and uh, we've got plenty of room now we're going to bring these back and bring these teeth in and bring this back over here and bring this down there's the central the lateral the cuspid and the bicuspid right here and on this side over here we've got the central the lateral the cuspid and the bi the bi here and you can see where these supernumerary teeth were right in there so you've got to get rid of them and get them out of there. Now we've got plenty of tooth structure. If he were to grow to be a big man, we could fill it in with this, but uh, if I remember correctly, he did not uh, grow that big a jaw. So I'll go to the next panorex here, and uh, we've got the teeth over there. Now, <clears throat> It's my fault I failed to put enough tip in this tooth and it's kind of leaning uh, and you can certainly see it. We get all these in and line them all up and we still don't have room. He just didn't uh, grow a very large jaw. This, he's age 13 now and uh, one month I think. And this was 99. Now here it is in, uh, I think he's aged 13, 10 months at this, at this point, and I can't read that date exactly, but we've got everything lined up in good, uh, good form except this tooth. I should have just put a little more tip in that and I could have brought that root out very easily. These could be brought out to look like I wasn't putting the tip in there like I should. Now we'll see it a little later. So I had to, later on now, he'll have these wisdom teeth removed. And also these over here. Just the jaw length was not sufficient. And this, he just didn't grow very, uh, you know, he wasn't some six foot, three or four inch guy when he got uh, through growing. All right, uh, here's age 14, 10 months at this point, And we've taken this, the wisdom teeth out, got everything lined up pretty good. Now this probably got a little better over a period of time, but it's um, I uh, regret that I didn't put the tip in there. He's got a slight amount of root resorption in here on some of these teeth. Now that's pretty prevalent, but that's not going to cause him to lose those teeth. Now the panorex is not very good in this side right here. I don't know whether I've got another one or not. But let me see. Yeah, okay. Here's another panorex and he is 17 and 3 months old at this point. And this is 03. And his teeth are lined up quite good. This was a little bit better but still a problem right in here and the jaw is turning up. It just doesn't have the room for the wisdom teeth. I like to use the wisdom teeth if I take teeth out in this area. I like to get everything up and bring the wisdom teeth in behind and most of the time we're able to save the uh, wisdom teeth when we take second bicuspids out or even first bicuspids a lot of times we are able to save the teeth so anyway this is where it ended up now I'm sorry that these teeth had a kind of a yellowish tint there but this came back in the film and back then you had to send off each picture and you just had to accept what you had 
but he had a nice set of teeth. Everything lined up real good. And from the side, it's real good. Not perfect right there. Should have rotated that cuspid out slightly. But it's, it's, it's really quite good. It's not uh, perfect. And I rarely ever get a set perfect, but I always try. Now, over here, these will settle in over a period of time a little more. That molar's hitting back on the corner, too. And so here we are. That's a little better at this the way he had his bites, his teeth together, I think, had some effect on it. But he ended up with a real good set of teeth. And uh, this is the retainer. And we have a bite plate, his lower teeth hit in this groove right there, and that'll stay. There's nothing now crossing over the occlusal surface. We just never do use that. Uh, and you can make these retainers where they stay in like mad if you uh, know how to do it. It's not all that big. So here's seven. 22 of 03 and this is the way the teeth look and this is the lower we've got a lower 3 to 3 bonded on and uh, that's ended up with a good set of teeth but we had to sacrifice a lot in here the second bicuspids plus the supernumerary teeth plus the wisdom teeth and that's the, I think these are the final pictures here. And uh, this is a picture of him a little earlier on. I think that's the last picture we've got, but actually uh, he's the more mature picture of him that we've got was here. And he is finished, but a real nice, young man and I don't know what he ended up being but he was talking about trying to study oral surgery he liked he liked uh, what we did there and kind of was real interested in it and his dad was uh, just a real gentleman he brought him in all the time took care of him and I would like to get in contact with him but I haven't seen him now for several years I hope he'll run on this video and call me up or something. Uh, thank you now for looking at this, and I hope you get a little something out of this about the supernumerary teeth, and I'm going to hush up, and uh, we'll stop and finish this. Thank you for listening.